Hey, what's going on YouTube? RMMO25 here bringing you another game on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Uh, this will be the second game for today, and again it will be with Viris in Genesec Raichu. This time my opponent will be 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Yeah. No. 9876543 Yeah, he's missing a 2, not a 1. Anyway, uh, let's go and check the battle. My opponent will be playing Blastoise, by the way, just to let you know. And uh, this match can go either way. If he gets a Black Cure too early in the game, I'm screwed. <laughs> if he doesn't, I'll be very happy. So I decided to lead with my Viridian because that is the best thing I can do. I have a backup Pikachu that is good and I really hate this of not being able to see the cards. And that's weird because I've been playing with Blastoise so that means I know uh, how a Squirtle looks like. But it looks like my opponent is playing a mix of Squirtles. He's playing BC, um, Boundary Scroll Squirtle and this other Squirtle that I really don't know which expansion it belongs to. Maybe... Uh, what's it called? Plasma Blast? Yeah, I think that is Plasma Blast. In the end I get my second Viridian, that is good. And Beerbank City Gym, which means if my opponent is not able to retreat this little squirrel that will be dead and I will be at one price. That's good. That is really good. Uh, too bad I don't have a Genesec, not right now. Um, I will want to have one of those, at least in the early coming future. Uh, so we are waiting to see what my opponent tries to do right now. Mm, I don't know why but my opponents in today basically were taking a lot of time and that is oh that is really unfortunate because I really wanted that energy yeah now I have to waste one plus my energy in order to use Eminal Slash anyway most likely this Squirtle will be going down yeah I think it will be going down there's no reason to keep this alive at least not that I think uh, so show me a lot of numbers what are you going to do and by the way he's playing the explosive Voltorb. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, that Voltorb has 50 HP, 1 retreat cost, and when you knock it out with attack uh, damage, uh, I don't remember if you or the Voltorb owner flips a coin, if it hits, it blows up in your face and applies 50 damage to you, which is very cool, very, very cool. The only downfall, I think, well, the only bad thing about that Voltorb is that 50 HP. If it was 60, that will be just huge. So my opponent keeps taking his time and I'm running out of ideas about what to tell to you guys. Ah, please don't do that. If you are going to play PTCGO, don't go AFK. <laughs> please don't do that. That is just a bad idea. Because there is people like me that like to record and if you do this, I have to be like this. What? I wish I know what is that card. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what showed the back side of the card? I have no idea. Uh, anyway, that squirrel is not dead. I don't like it. I really don't like it. I, want, I wanted that squirrel dead that turn and now it's alive but I'm able to get a Genesec out of that end that is good I will be able to Eminal Slash into that I already have one Grass Energy on my hand so that will be good for me but for my opponent right there I thought this was weird why would you promote Voltorb if you have two Squirtles uh, yeah I think that right there he should have promoted one Squirtle so he could save this Volter because... Well, Electro is useful, in, very useful in, that, in Blastoise. Anyway, he will go most likely for, for Electro, or at least that is what I'm thinking, but no, in the end he decides to go for Black Urim, which means my opponent knows how to deal with my deck. Yeah. There goes the water energy using the luge and he got a Professor Juniper, so that means I need to be scared. Yeah! <laughs> and here comes another Blastoise 
and suddenly my verb position is really not that good. I don't appreciate my verb position right now because he's got a black urim, he's got an electrode to blastoise and that is something you really don't want to see when you are using BBC and Genesec and your opponent is playing blastoise. Especially since I was only able to draw one prize. Yeah, that is never good to see. Uh, well, I will... I will basically even slash. <laughs> I have nothing to do, my end gave me nothing. Uh, and I will just hypnotoxic laser this electrode. It's I think it will be better for me to get rid of this right now. I won't be able to do that because I will be thirty I mean ten short if I decide to play that hypnotoxic laser, but in the end I decided not to do that. So that means that I'm stupid because that will be a very easy price using Megalocanon later on. Yeah. Consider your options, guys. Not just uh, short term, but uh, long term too. Trust me, it can be useful. <laughs> um, there goes an end, and thank goodness he gave me that end. I love you. I love you. Lots of numbers. I really do. Because that was a very good, a very bad hand for me. Thankfully, he ended me into the worst possible scenario for my opponent. Yeah. As you can see, I have my Buffalant, I have Hypnotoxic Laser, I have DC, and I also have Energy Switch, which means Mold Breaker to the face to you, my friend. And if for some other reason I build, I'm able to get Muscle Band, that most likely means I will be able to take three prizes in one um, upcoming turn. So, there goes the Buffalant, there goes DCE, uh, I will retreat, I will give that lovely energy to my Buffalant, laser for you, because you love the laser, trust me, you like your, you love lasers, enjoy that. And I got another Genesec, a Pikachu, and the muscle van I was looking for. And that means in the upcoming future, this Black Urim will be dead very dead <laughs> and we always love when black qm is dead especially when my opponent does not have another black qm so there you go gold breaker to the face laser to the face take that lots of damage and that is just great <laughs> just great what i wanted to see to be completely honest and right there i thought that my opponent will will black ballista my buffalant yeah, I thought that was going to be my opponent's play. He does not like Muscle Vent. I, I can see why he does not like Muscle Vent. And... Oh, yeah, I had to tell you. Tournament, tournament's Alpha or Beta, I don't know. It's finally on, so... If you find out how you can, in, how you can get into the tournaments, please let me know. I want to try them out. I really want to try them out. Uh, so it's that was enough for the um, advertisement. Let's go back into the game. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> I don't think I have ever seen uh, what's this thing called? Switch on Blastoise. I really think I have never seen that before. So right there, I will be able to make all the cannon, get rid of this Blastoise, and get rid of a Black Urim. That is lovely. And right there, I should have played that energy switch to move one of my Grass Energy into my Active Genesec, into my Bench Genesec. And right there, I should have played that um, that Plasma Energy. That will allow me in the future to have several Genesecs at the same time. But at the moment, I was being stupid, and I will pay for that later. Yeah. So here comes the Suicun, and looks like my opponent needs to draw cards. By the way, his deck is very small right now. He has, well, no, he has played more supporters than me, so yeah. Uh, in the end, it turns out that my opponent plays Execute 2. I really like Execute on Blastoise, and he will be getting lots and lots and lots of energy. And we are about to see a Mega Blastoise to my face. No. Not a Mega Blastoise, a Super Blastoise to my face. And I hate you, lots of numbers. I really hate you. Why and why? 
Ah, uh, that is so sad. Seriously, that is very sad. Now I have to retreat. And there is no reason for me to retreat using grass energy, so I will simply uh, retreat with uh, plasma energy. Why it's better to retreat with plasma energy? Enhanced hammer is one reason. Mega Cannon needs to grass energy in order to do something. And you can retrieve plasma energy with um, what's this thing called? Shadow Triad. Yeah. <clears throat> so. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you lots of numbers. I really do. <clears throat> well, that Super Blastoise was not enough. Yeah, that, one, that was not enough and that is good. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys. Right there, what I can do is attach that plasma energy into my... Um, Genesec and promote that Suicun that will give me one more prize, but I really don't want to take a What's it called? Uh, Hydro pump to the face. So I'm thinking okay. It's much better for me to <coughs> attack this Blastoise put some damage right there Because most likely he will be able to knock out one of my Genesec if I kill that Suicun and I didn't want that to happen. That was an option, but I didn't want that to happen. And right now with that laser, I will be able to get a double knockout if I need to. So in the end, that was the right play. Right there, I didn't want to risk it. I already know that I have, uh, what's this thing called? Plasma energy on my discard pile. I have at least two. I know that, but I didn't want to, to risk that because I cannot look into my discard pile when my opponent is trying to promote something. So right there, in the end, I will attach Plasma Energy into my <coughs> Genesec, Drag Signal, Retreat, and I will be able to take these two prizes. Because Hypnotoxic Laser just gave me what I needed when I needed. And that will be the two prize turn, that will be game, and I hope... Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Good, I had a lot of grass energy on my prices, that is lovely. Anyway guys, that was the game, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to see more content, please tell me what do you want to see played? Uh, I have not asked you this in a while, but tell me, what do you want to see me play? Or to watch me play, I don't know what is the right verb right there. Anyway guys, I will see you all next time.